Hi guys, it's Tuesday the 22nd and we're working on with graphs trying to find the interval where the function is increasing or decreasing or constant and then can we discover what the domain range is. Now this example has endpoints so this point right here is what is that negative 5 this point would be negative 5 comma what is that 1 2 3 there we go parentheses parentheses there we go and then this dot over here it's also a dot it is positive 5 comma 0 right parentheses parentheses okay so if i'm working on this graph right here um, it has endpoints. The domain is how wide. How wide is the graph? Well, it starts at negative 5, and then it does all these little swoops and curves, and it stops at positive 5. So if I'm writing the interval, I'm writing from negative 5 to positive 5, right? Now, do I use brackets or parentheses? Think about it. Since it has an endpoint, I can get all the way there. That is a bracket. That's a bracket. Okay. Now then, the range is how tall the graph is. You know, just like this one's how wide is the graph? Where does it start? Where does it stop? Well, the same thing with range. How tall is the graph? So we have to look for the highest y value. So this looks like two and a half, but that dot is definitely three. So 3 is the highest y value it gets. Right? So 3 is the max. Now then, the lowest y value, this goes all the way down to negative 3. And then does this go any lower? No, negative 3. Looks like the range is from negative 3 to positive 3. Now that's also a bracket because it actually reaches negative 3. So, we have brackets on both ends. What's the domain? What's the range? No problem. Now, remember that if this had been an arrow, if, um, if well, it's not an arrow, but let's say it was an arrow, if this wasn't here, and it was actually an arrow here, then this would go all the way to negative infinity. See, this guy would be negative infinity if we were talking. If there was an arrow there, you'd have to go all the way down to negative infinity. But since it's not an arrow, remember, it's actually a dot. So, um, we'll just erase that. It's actually a dot. That's why it starts at negative 5 and stops at positive 5. Okay. So, uh, now, where is it increasing? So here it's going downhill. I always tell my kids that, like, pretend like you're driving a car. You're driving downhill. Wahoo! And then you got to climb this hill. And then you go downhill again. Wahoo! And then it's flat. Down again. Wahoo! And then climb the hill at the end. So it's increasing when you climb the hill. So when you tell me the intervals, they're actually wanting the x interval. Interval, right? So, what x numbers can I pick that make my y numbers go uphill? Well, the first one is negative 2 to 0. Right? I'm talking the x numbers. Because whenever I start at negative 2, I'm going uphill. When I go to negative 1, I'm uphill. When I get to 0, I'm at the top of the hill. right? So I stop increasing at 0. Then I go, woo, woo. And then I start increasing again. Where do I start? I start at 4. And I go to 5. Right? You're not telling me the y values. You're telling me the x numbers that make the y values go uphill. All right? 
So you're telling me what X numbers make the Y increase? That's what we want to know. What X numbers make the Y increase? Well, the X numbers between negative 2 and 0, the X numbers between 4 and 5. Okay. Where does it decrease? Well, now you know what we're talking about. You have to start with the X number, which is negative 5. And it goes downhill all the way until you get this X number, negative 2. So it's decreasing from negative 5 to negative 2. It decreases again from 0. Where does it stop going downhill? Right there at negative 2. So again from 0 to, oops, from negative, yeah, from 0 to positive 2. What am I saying? From 0 to positive 2. There you go. And then it's constant from 2 to 3. Might as well write that in right there. From 2 to 3, the x numbers, if I pick numbers in between 2 and 3, it's always going to be the same value. It's going to be negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2. But then once I get to 3, it starts going downhill again. So it goes downhill until. I get to 4, which is right there. So I answered all the questions. What x numbers make it go uphill? Well, the numbers are right here between 2 and 0. And between 4 and 5, it's going uphill. What x numbers make it go downhill? From negative 5 to negative 2, right? In between here, these x numbers, I'm going downhill. Um, these x numbers, between 0 and negative 2, these x numbers, I'm going downhill. And then these x numbers, from 3 to 4, I'm going downhill. Woo. The only time it's flat is at between 2 and 3. So the x number 2 to 3, that tells me when it's constant. And that's what you're going to be doing on today's homework. All right? I'll see you.